everyone, Alex Dunn here, and I am here making the best kind of video to make a book deal announcement video. I'm not lying when I tell you that every time, you know, I send a book out, especially to my editor, you know, the imposter syndrome starts up and you go, but you know, they might not buy it. And I like fully emotionally prepared myself not to sell this book. I got the good news about two weeks ago <laughs> and I've been like, you release a deep sigh and then you go, well shit, I have to write the book. But <laughs> celebration first. I'm super, super excited, obviously. I'm going to have yet another YA thriller coming out. So this is going to be my third YA thriller, my third book with Random House Crown, books for young readers, my third thriller with Random House, like build in my little like YA brand and actually quite excitingly like the joke is that no matter what you do no matter what you write publishing calls everything a thriller regardless so my second book Pretty Dead Queens like I'm upfront about this is really not a thriller it is a mystery suspense but this one The Bitter End is actually a thriller it is structured like a thriller and paced like a thriller so what what is my book book deal book deal announcement time Elizabeth Stranahan at Crown Books for Young Readers has acquired in an exclusive submission, they make it sound so fancy, my publisher wrote this, the Ivy's author Alexa Dunn's next young adult novel, The Bitter End. In her latest thriller, eight teens from an exclusive prep school find themselves on a class trip of horrors, stranded in the mountains with a killer who may be one of their own. Publication is scheduled for spring 2024. Alana Roth Parker at Laura Dale Literary Agency brokered the deal for World English Rights. That's it in a nutshell. I mean, I've been te I mean, I've been teasing this. If you're a regular to the channel, you're like, "Aha, that one. I am writing my isolation trope thriller. One of my all-time favorite thriller tropes. I've done a whole video of book recs for it. There are more coming out. I'm reading them. I I love this trope. I love this trope. And I'm finally getting to play with it myself. And it's one that we don't see quite as often in YA thrillers, though the great news is we have a couple that are going to be coming out. I will not be alone. I've seen a couple of announcements for these types of thrillers that are going to be coming out in 2023 and 2024 with lots of different settings, but the thing they have in common is like we're trapping people in one location and then people are going to start dying, including my mentee Olivia Worley's book, People to Follow, which is coming out from Wednesday Books. Definitely pick that up. So what else can I tell you about The Better End? As you can tell from the blurb, yes, isolation trope, we've got mountains, we've got snow, we've got class trip, eight kids from an exclusive prep school with lots of drama going on between them. How I personally pitched this to my publisher was Gossip Girl meets and then there were none, but you know, on a mountain. And you know I love like weather and trees, so I went for weather and trees. Accordingly, as I said, it's going to be a proper thriller. I'm gonna kill more than one person. I haven't done that. So far I've done murder books where one person dies and there's an investigator character and they have to figure out who killed that person. This one is very different. This is students being bumped off one by one in an isolated location. I mean, isolation trope thriller. And I'm also playing with multi POV and possibly some other things that may have come up in like goals videos that I talked about, like in terms of challenging myself as a writer. Uh, yes, I'm terrified, which is actually a pretty good mood to be in when you are writing an isolation trope thriller. So this is probably all good. As the announcement said, it is tentatively slated for spring 2024. Random House has three seasons, so it's like spring, summer, fall. I'm actually not entirely sure where fall ends and spring starts. I'm hoping, I mean, I can't control my release date and I have to write it first, like repeat that. I have to finish this book. I have to write this book. Uh, but it'd be really cool if it came out when we still had like snowy vibes, obviously, since it is a snowy book. But like more or less, like a year and change after Pretty Dead Queens comes out, you will get my next thriller. That's it, honestly, this is short and sweet. I have a book deal, I wanted to announce it because you know what this means, writing vlogs are back. <laughs> yes, I have already started filming a writing vlog, so you will hopefully see that soon-ish. Already hitting some roadblocks, roadblocks are normal, it's fine, we're fine, everything's fine, writing is hard, but genuinely, I'm super, super excited to be writing this book. I'm excited for the challenge, I'm excited for, I'm excited for, for, this sounds terrible, for for killing a bunch of teenagers, gonna kill some teens. 
in a book, not in real life. Don't, don't come get me, FBI. I promise I'm normal. And honestly, I'm just thrilled and grateful to get to work with my editor again. I really love her. Crown is really, really good to me at Random House. And I really love writing thrillers and I feel privileged to be able to get to write another one. I hope you will add The Better End to your TBR on Goodreads or the book tracking program of your choice. Thank you so much as always for being with me on this writing and publishing journey. I am happy and humbled and terrified and all of those good, wonderful things. I hope everyone is doing well wherever you are. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'm a traditionally published YA thriller author. I can like, <laughs> like I'm definitely legit a YA thriller author now. I'm gonna have three. And thank you so much for watching and happy writing.